hello guys welcome back now in this video let's connect our project with the firebase so for that purpose open up your browser okay go to google.com and simply search for firebase console okay make sure that you are logged in to your gmail account or your google account okay so then you will see this console.firebase.google.com simply click on it you will see an interface like this that is your firebase projects add project so just click on this plus add project okay this button and here we have to provide our project name so i will give it name as uh, uber and or let's give it proper name uber ola and and driver clone Uber OLA and, and driver clone app. You can give it project name cannot be longer than 30 words, okay? So make sure to give it less than 30 words. So, anyways, Uber OLA and, and driver clone. This is our Firebase project name. So just click on continue and make sure that you open this, okay? That is enable the Google Analytics for this project. So then click continue and from here you can select your default account for Firebase and then click on create project so our project has been created successfully and your, your new project is ready so click on continue so here you can see Uber, Ola and Endriver clone app if you come back here to the console.firebase.google.com then you will see your project here that is uber ola and in driver clone okay which is our new project now you have to simply click on this button which is android okay same i mean for connecting it to the ios we will click on ios and then for the web we click on web as you know for now we will connect it with the android also you can do that from the project settings okay if you click on this gear icon and click on project settings then here you will see this here as well okay from here first of all make sure to select your support email which will be your default email okay that is your google account using which you are logged in it will be visible here i mean you can select it from here and then next thing is you can click on this android icon now here we have to basically provide our package name so from here we can get that well you can simply come back here to the android studio okay expand this android inside the android we have app inside the app we have build.gradle and if you scroll here you will see here that is your the inside the default default config you will see this which is application id so here instead of com example your project name in my case as you know it is driver app so here you can write your name or let's say your company name i will write my name if your name is let's say john you can write john my name is muhammad ali so i write muhammad ali and then of course my app name which is driver app remove any underscore from here okay just do it like this so com dot muhammad ali dot drivers app if your name is let's say john then it will be com dot john dot drivers app okay or whatever your project name is but do not give any extra space and try to remove underscore and dashes okay just simple like this and then you can simply copy it and remember do not change it later on in the course okay otherwise it will drop a connection your, to your firebase okay once you choose this then go with it okay think and just give it proper application id just like i give and then copy it and come back here and simply uh, paste that here and then click on first of all let's give it a nickname as you know this is driver app so you can say drivers app click on register app now the next thing is to add google services.json but we will not do this step here okay first of all we will go next okay so just click on next button for now because we have to do the main setup first 
so we have to add to our project build.gradle this line which is uh, this one okay so just copy it and then come back to your project let's close this build.gradle okay so inside our project build.gradle as you can see one is inside the android app build.gradle and one is basically this one inside the android project build.gradle okay this one so inside the android directly this one and build.gradle okay here inside the dependencies as you can see here so we can simply pass that here just like this and then come back to the browser and next thing is now here we have to add this to the app module build.gradle okay so you need to simply copy this one which is apply plugin com google gms google services this line okay just copy it and come back here and just close this and inside the android app module build.gradle we have to add this at the very bottom here okay at the bottom and now let's come back to the browser and yeah that's it now click on next and click on continue to console so now if you scroll here our drivers app has been connected to e firebase okay and now the drivers app google services dot json file of course we will download and add it to our project but before doing that we have to simply enable the authentication first okay so click on authentication and click on get started we will be using the email password so click on email password and make sure to enable this and click save so it has been enabled then click on the real time database and click on create database okay and then click next and start in locked mode click enable Now click on rules inside the real time database and make sure to change this from false to true. Okay, read true and write true just like this. Okay, and then click on publish. Rules published. Okay, so make sure to change this to true. Let me just make it sure that is it has been set to true so yeah so yeah everything is set up okay and now let's just uh, come here to the project settings and here we have to simply click on this driver app and then download this i mean click on this google services.json so it will download this file okay as you can see here so if i show you it is now inside my downloads folder so what i have to do i have to simply come back here okay and then i have to copy this google services.json file copy it and inside the app okay right click on app folder just like this and click on paste and click ok so it is now inside the app folder google services.json as you can see here okay inside the app folder and now of course if you want you can remove this google services from your downloads folder okay since we have already add that in our project google services dot json so our project is now connected to the firebase so how we can uh, basically confirm that well it is so simple and so easy all we need is just to go to the browser and first of all we have to add the dependencies for using the firebase authentication and firebase real-time database in our flutter project so for that purpose uh, as you know we have a website which is by the i mean the url for which is pub.dev simply search this one pub.dev and it will redirect you to this page now here you have to first search for firebase core 
and as you know we will be using the latest new versions okay so this first one which is firebase core with null safety as you can see here okay so with null safety click on it firebase core and then click on installing and send the installing we have this uh, firebase core okay and then come back here to the project open up the pubspec.yml file and here uh, below the cupertino icons you can simply paste it like this okay and now come back here again and now the next one we have to search for the firebase auth okay so the latest new version with null safety firebase auth installing copy it and then simply we have to paste it here then after it we are using the database the real-time database so let's add that one also quickly so the latest firebase database with null safety okay so just click on it you will add the latest new version just copy this come back to the project simply paste it here and now we have to simply click on pubget finished with exact code 0 it simply means that it has been successfully added in our project now what we need to do we need to initialize the firebase in our mender dot so that let's say if there is any error occurred it simply means our project is not connected with the firebase but if our run apps smoothly that is without any error then it is connected successfully so let's just initialize it first of all for that purpose we uh, make sure that it, the main is async okay this is asynchronous and then in here we can say wait firebase dot initialize app and one more last step is basically according to the recommendation for using the firebase latest versions we have to set our minimum SDK version to 20 or above so inside the Android app build.gradle okay if you come here here we have our minimum SDK version okay so basically this we have to remove flutter dot minimum SDK just remove this and instead of it you can simply type 20 okay so once you change this to 20 now we are ready to test our application so open up your emulator and now let's just click on play button in order to install the app so our app is running now and here we go so our app has been I mean our app has been connected successfully to the firebase since we get no error.